He look nervous over there, y'all. Look like he over there shaking in his boots. Y'all, everybody got a past. Of course, we got to walk over and feed the old laying hens and all. It looks like I got an old Orpington hatchet. We made it to the facility. Well, across the creek, back again with another. Back again with another guy. And, uh, well, the easy day for me. We're going to feed these animals in a hurry. And, uh, well, they said the creek don't rise, but it's too late for that guy. Uh, water in this area. I don't know if you guys see me splashing it with my shoes. I see fish and such swimming under my feet and all. But, uh, busy day, guys. As you guys saw in the title, well, fearful day for me. But, well, we got to get it done nonetheless. We're going to get these animals fed, and I'm going to carry y'all with me. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, very, very rainy day, as I stated. Uh, don't have time to clean up today. After that storm, there's some branches and stuff blew over on the fence line. Most of our areas here are full of water and such, as you guys can see on the ground here, going into some of those uh, coops and all. But uh, don't have time to deal with it today. Got to make a long drive, uh, well, to get this soldier surgery started. But uh, I'm going to throw some feed in so these guys can at least eat today. Check the water, make sure the bedding is good, and... Uh, I'm going to do it real quick, so I may not have a lot of commentary for you who's watching this thing, but uh, use your imagination. Of course, the old Vegas cell is first, as always. We'll just tribulate them a little bit of turn right off in that area there. That nest says, stop making all that noise waking us up. We don't care about your surgery operation. We're not scared you are. Woo, I wish I could eat that guy right there. Let's get on to the next. Well, then, of course, we've made our way over to the relocation pen. Uh, some of these roosters are getting pretty good size and well, I'm either gonna feed them the river or take them to the river and fish with them. Well, I might teach CJ how to clean one of them out. Country style, of course, not the right way. And of course, well, the last area we're gonna feed is, well, the old rooster holding cell. Well, we've got this hen in here, old Pelham one, two, three right there. She's making her way down through there. She don't mind eating with them boys. She ain't afraid of them at all. Uh, Look, y'all, look at my old Goldilocks coming in. Say she'll have a bite of breakfast as well. Uh, let's get on to the next pen, guys. Well, of course, we got to walk over and feed the old laying hens and all. Let's throw them some kern. Well, let's try to, let's see if we can miss that water. We did a pretty fairly decent job with that. Uh, I don't have time to visit with you today. Uh, I'm talking to the chickens, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't have time to visit with you today, so I'm just going to feed y'all up. And, well, I'll check on y'all when I get back. Just try to stay dry. Use your coop area there and just stay dry. And uh, have us three big round brown ones when I get back. Woo. I tell myself I need to quit, but I don't listen to drugs. That's right, guys. The chores don't ever stop. We've got food and water in this one here for these guys. Let's get this guy fastened up. And, uh, we've also got food and water on this side here. The water's through the column that way. And, uh, they're doing well. They said get on out of here and get it operated on. All right, guys, so the cows are all eating and all, and we've got those goats fed up. So let's get on to the next operation, guys. It don't stop right here. All right, guys, sorry for rushing through that process there. Had to get them guys fed up quick. Rain's still coming down, and, uh, well, we ready to go ahead and knock this operation out now. Let's hit that highway. They say the journey is the reward, but they didn't tell you about all the bends and curves and winds in the road on the journey. Well, guys, I know I said it was time to go, but if you look right on the back side of this egg here, it looks like I got an old copper moran hatching off. Well, I sure hope that doctor understands why I'm going to be late. I want to stay here and wait out this process and see this old guy through. Let's close the lid so he can get finished. Look like he over there shaking in his boots. Real nervous. He been biting them off the whole way. We're trying to get on down this highway here. We're going to the doctor and, well, I ain't gonna say the rest right now. Y'all stay tuned. Chris? <laughs> well, we were making our way through the area just fine. I had to stop in and get some gas and all. And well, I wanna take this time to send a shout out 
Nick and Titus. Always the dumb way. And uh, Titus, if you happen to catch this one, get the message over to Paris. Maria and I have been discussing some uh, artwork, uh, ink, mock-up style, country style on it, of course. Well, in your living room in the recliner. Woo. We made it to the facility that uh, we're gonna get our operation done at. And uh, well, I'm a little nervous. I'm thinking these needles are gonna be mighty sharp. But uh, well, there's some people out there who's having to face a more detrimental needle than this one. So I guess I can't complain. Uh, shout out to anybody struggling with anything. And uh, well, shout out to any foster kids that's just sitting waiting on their name to get called. Don't get discouraged. Sit on them spots. It'll get turned around. Well, as I'm sitting here filling out this paperwork, guys, I'm just getting more nervous and nervous. Well, some of these questions they're asking me, well, sure are frightening. All right, guys, now my chance. The ladies finally made copies of my paperwork. I'm going to sneak out the back door while Maria's not paying attention. Well, guys, I'm hiding out in this old bathroom here. Well, reason being, I'm trying to be kind of quiet, but the nurse out there said, well, she had some medicine waiting on me and some sharp needles. I ain't buying it now. I'm thinking about hightailing on this giraffe up out of here. Whoa. Use your other hand. Well, country style. Bringing them up out of there. And uh, we'll get that shoulder right there together. Well, we're gonna land us three different species of car. And we're gonna eat each one of them. They came to see us today, too. We're headed out of here. Yeah, I got you. All right, guys, well, we made it back in. We appreciate you guys riding with us on the journey and all. We're gonna feed these chicks up and go down and check on our core. And, uh, well, Hopefully wrap this thing up and let you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Stay tuned. And, uh, well, since we're here, here's some images of the show today. Looks like a little labrum tear on one side. And, uh, well, let me move this thing up and I'll show you. Here's the tool they were using on the inside of that shoulder there to lock those ligaments up and keep them in place. And, uh, well, I lost my voice, but, uh, I gained my shoulder back, so I'm grateful for that. Uh. Let's feed these cord. Those guys are coming up to eat. And, uh, well, they're getting bigger and coming on around well, but I don't have too much time to spend with them tonight. Uh, no voice, can't talk. We appreciate you guys checking in with us on this Sunday. And uh, as always, we'll catch you next Sunday. Thanks for watching.